In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how easy you can make fried courgettes with feta dip. And at the time of this recipe, the courgettes are still in season, so make sure you're taking full advantage of them. For this recipe, I'm using three courgettes. Using a sharp knife, get rid of both ends and slice the courgettes in half inch thick slices. This might look too thick, but once we add the salt, the courgettes are getting softer, and if you are to cut them too thin, they are getting harder to handle whilst cooking. Talking about salt, we are adding one tablespoon of it. Although it looks quite a lot, most of it will come out with a liquid that the courgette will release. Follow with a quarter of teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, or you can use a fresh minced garlic if you want to, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Other spices or seasoning could also be added, but I'll just stop here and mix everything together. Just make sure that the seasoning is coating the sliced courgettes on all sides, and after that, rub the bowl and place it into the fridge for about half an hour. Meanwhile, let's make the feta dip. For this you need about 100 grams of feta cheese. Get a real one, don't go with replacements because this is not gonna taste the same. You wanna get rid of the weight that the feta cheese comes in in a package. And after that, crumble it and transfer it into the food processor. Add seasoning, just pepper as feta is salty already. And to bring some of that Mediterranean feeling into the recipe, a good pinch of dry oregano. Now, depending on how creamy you want to go, add the cream. I'm adding 150 milliliters of cream to 100 grams of feta cheese. Whipping cream is ideal, but I only had double cream in the fridge, but this will do the job too. If you wanna go smoother than that, you can go half cream, half feta cheese, but just make sure you don't over blend it because it will separate and it will look like scrambled eggs. Once transferred the feta to a bowl, I'm adjusting the consistency of the dip with a touch more cream, and I'm also adding a good pinch of chives. Now combine everything together, and once this is done, set the dip aside, and now let's move on to our courgettes. After being in a fridge for half an hour with salt, you'll be surprised how much liquid the courgettes will release. And it's better if you put it into a colander, let it drain for about 5 minutes, meanwhile you can prepare the dredge for this courgette. Get 3 eggs ready into a bowl, and skip the salt, obviously we don't need it, we've got salt in feta, we've got salt in courgette, simply season with pepper, and you can add some chives, since we chopped quite a few in the beginning, if you don't have, you can skip it, this is kind of optional. Add a good cup of all-purpose flour into the plate, set the pan on medium-high heat, although you could set the pan before, so you have it ready, but I'm just kind of working the other way around, add enough oil, into the pan so you can do the deep frying. Go ahead and coat the courgette slices into the flour, and after that transfer them into the beaten eggs. You need to ensure that the flour is well covered in egg into an even layer, so there are no patches of flour before you putting the slices into the pan. Once you transfer the sliced courgettes into the hot oil, make sure that they get nicely colored on both sides, so cook them until they get pretty much golden brown in color, and then there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check my triple cooked cheese recipe that's on the screen right now, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.